Really nothing better than liking your outfit. Just nothing better. Normally I'd be at Fashion Week right now and I'm doing Fashion Week for about six years and that's like two to three seasons a year. And this year I decided that I was gonna take a step back from New York for a variety of reasons. It's definitely weird when you've been doing something f for so long and you then just stop doing it. I feel like there's a lot of like questions about whether that was the right move. Fashion week is not just a week, it's a month, right? So you do New York or you do New York and then some people do London and then Milan and then Paris. So I was doing New York, Milan, Paris. And it was like three weeks away, especially during a time where like I'm, uncle is very needed because fall is such a big season for us. And I just, I had to look at my life, my job, my priorities. Those are really expensive. Like I front the cost of that and prioritize. And right now uncle is a priority to me and it's what I really want to focus a lot of my energy on. And so being away at fashion week really takes away from that. And it's also just, you know, really expensive. It's really draining. Cause not only when you do fashion month, you come back from fashion month and I need like a week to like get my mind back in like a good place. Like I never come back from fashion week being like amazing. I feel great. I, my whole like goal this year was to do everything with intention and try new things. And I feel like I've tried new things with the acting. I'm putting intention behind everything I do. So I decided to not do New York this year. I still am gonna do Milan, and then I'm probably not gonna do Paris, which sucks because I actually love Paris so much. Um, that's why I am... This week's sponsor is BetterHelp, and I've been working with BetterHelp forever. I've been doing therapy with BetterHelp forever. And so it's just been really helpful to talk this out with someone who's very third party, kind of has like no idea what this world is about, but just to talk through my emotions my life decisions and like where I'm going and um, kind of help my help me talking out when you're feeling like low is very helpful. BetterHelp is a platform that you've heard me talk about before. It makes finding a therapist a lot easier because it's all online and it's all remote. So you just fill out a questionnaire and you can match with a therapist in as little as a few days. Um, I was matched very, very quickly. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And I think this is really important because not everyone has accessible therapists in their area. Like not everyone just like lives in a big city and whatever. And um, you know, with my lifestyle, for example, I am on the move a lot and so just being able to access a therapist online is great. If you happen to sign up and then you don't vibe with your therapist, you can be just rematched with someone. Therapy is, finding therapists is a little like dating where you have to kind of go through a few to figure out the best fit for you. Um, I will have a link down below, um, betterhelp.com slash Allegra Shaw. If you click that link, you'll get 10% off your first month. That also really helps me and my channel when you click that link and sign up. All right, I've been sitting outside the office for like 20 minutes. So I gotta go inside now.
I literally sent them these photos. This is why it's like getting frustrating. It's like, it just it doesn't matter. I just cannot make it to the gym in the morning anymore. I wake up on time, like I could I could go. It's not like I'm asleep. I am awake. But I'd much rather just have coffee in bed. Hmm. Way better than working out. I'll just go after work. Who cares? I feel like I have so much to catch you up on. I can't really remember the last time that we spoke. <laughs> just been sitting at my desk, which is here. I feel like the last week has been really amazing and I actually decided in the earlier clip, I said I was gonna go to Milan. I didn't go to New York Fashion Week. And then I said I was gonna go to Milan. And I actually ended up not going to Milan at all to just stay home and honestly like save money and mental health and work on uncle and like just be home. Obviously you guys know the last like couple years, like my travel schedule since like 2018 has been wild. This has been really nice to just be home, especially be home in September. I'm never home in September and all of my like friends are turning 30. So I got to like go to people's birthdays, which I've never had been able to do before. And uh, my dad's birthday is in September. So it's just been really nice. So no Milan and no Paris, pretty crazy. But I did get an opportunity to go to Portugal. So I'm going to Portugal on Saturday. It's only for like a day and a half. And then I come home. I was gonna like see if I could go somewhere else, but it's just, I just need to get back home. So that'll be really great. I'm going with nude sticks and I'm really excited. I've never been on a trip with nude sticks before. I haven't been on a brand trip in a long time either. So I auditioned for a movie also. <laughs> I got a request to audition, which was really great. I don't know how well it went, um, but it was my very like first audition. And um, I don't know, we'll see. I, you know, I just really was really grateful for the opportunity and to even be considered especially so early in like my acting journey like i literally started acting lessons like two months ago and then got to audition which is so crazy um so that was really fun and i feel like everything is just like the way that it should be for a while i was like oh if i don't go to fashion week am i gonna like sit here and have like so much fomo and like of course like when i see the shows i'm like i love the show so much but i feel really really good about my decision to stay home and i feel like sometimes you need to stay saying no to things so that new you need to like, not close doors, but like, you need to say no to things so that new opportunities can present themselves. And I feel like I did that, so. This is also our new hoodie. And it's my favorite thing ever. I wear it every day. Going to the gym at 45. I know this is gonna be an extremely hard class. jungle i saw them in england loved them and they're in toronto so go see them again for concerts especially outside in september i'm not dressing up i'm wearing a sweatshirt <laughs> that 45 class was very tough that was my second class in like five weeks i'm struggling here is the outfit tonight i'm going my little flared boot cut kind of bell-bottomy jeans, some boots, and then a sweatshirt, and a vintage, well, actually, pre-Uncle Studios, and when it was just called Uncle, and it was like just 
screen printing. We were literally just like having fun making art on clothes. I don't know what bag I'm gonna bring. I might not bring a bag. Kind of easier not a bag. Going to jungle.